You're listening to KTWR, broadcasting from the beautiful island of Guam. Our program is heard each Sunday at 1500 hours, coordinated universal time. Broadcasting on 15390 kHz in the 19-meter band. Coming up next is DX's Diary. This is KTWR, Adanya Guam, where hope knows no values. Welcome to DXS Daily, the five-minute weekly digest produced and presented for Transworld Radio by your friend Arun Kumar Nasimam from Chennai in India. KTWR has been broadcasting this show every Sunday in 15205 from 1500 hours coordinated universal time at Fatavich DRM block. As radio hobbies, DXS, short radio listeners, you all know the role Sunspot number, SFI forecast and A index plays in radio broadcasting and listening. We have been providing information about these parameters every week. The sunspot number this week is 133. SFI forecast ranges from 130 to 140 and A index ranges from 12 to 20. Friends, this week we will add information about our home station KTWR. We have taken excerpts of an article published in World Radio TV Handbook and here is the excerpt. KTWR came on the air in 1977. Guam was chosen due to its political stability and proximity to Asia, explains Mr. Mike Sabin, Transworld Radio's Asia Broadcast Technical Operations Director. Mr. Sabin adds that KTWR initially targeted Northeast Asia using two Harris shortwave 100 kilowatt transmitters fed into two TCI 611 curtain antennas. Two more Harris units were added in 1981 as well as Additional antennas targeting Southeast Asia, East Asia, Australia, and New Zealand. A purchase of an HC100-100 kilowatt transmitter from HCJB Engineering in Indiana, USA, along with a 2, 3.5 curtain antenna, occurred in 1998. This transmitter setup continued until 2010 when KTWR launched a transmitter replacement project. Mr. Mike Sabin says a Harris shortwave hundreds. SW100 was getting increasingly difficult to maintain. Their inability to handle digital radio mondial DRM also motivated us to look for it, says Mr. Sabin. The station purchased two refurbished Thomson TR2326 250 kilowatt transmitters from the recently closed Christian Vision and an X Radio Australia site at Cox Peninsula in Northern Australia. They were kept in their shipping containers and a team of staff and volunteers set up the air conditioning for them in Guam. One of the Harris transmitters was salvaged for parts, another was left in operating condition to demonstrate to a potential buyer. Once the sale was complete, the transmitter was put into a container and sent to WTWW at Tennessee, USA. The two remaining Harris transmitters had their cooling radiators moved outside. One was moved to a new location in the transmitter hall to make room for the Thompsons. Once the building work was completed, the Thompsons and their parts were carefully taken out of the containers and reassembled inside the building. They were into service in 2011 and 2013 respectively. Once they were on the air, the remaining two Harris transmitters were taken out of service and sold to the above mentioned WTWW. KTWR remained in the air during the entire transmitter replacement project. This would not be the last of such a type of purchase. KTWR also bought a TCI 611 antenna from KFBS on Saipan, which shut down in 2011. An antenna matrix was completed in 2015, which allows any antenna to be used by any transmitter. The station started DRM test transmissions from one of the Thompsons about a decade ago. Regular Japanese transmission started in 2014. KTWR continues to air weekly transmissions in English and Japanese. DXS Dairy takes this opportunity to thank everyone in TWR and KTWR for their continued support, help and guidance in producing this program and airing it in KTWR's DRM block every Sunday. We would like to thank all those listeners who have sent us their valuable receipts and reports short your radio logs. Friends, we have come to the end of the program now. As in the past, I request you to send your listeners logs 
bank scans, reception and reports, views, and opinion about the program to dxsdiary at gmail.com. Please keep encouraging us by sending your reception reports regularly and we'll acknowledge your reception reports with a QSL card or an e-QSL as early as possible. This is your friend and host, Arun Kumar Nasiman, signing off. 73. Bye-bye.